In this video I'd like to encourage you to look around you, go for a walk and look for any trees that need your help and today I've been focusing on trees which need to have their tree shelters removed and um, watch through some of the video or all of the video with me and you'll see just how important it is and what kind of damage um, tree shelters can do if they're not removed in good time. Hello I'm Sally from Natural Spa Supplies, I'm also the Waybred Tree Warden and it's also Keep Britain Tidy Week and um, it's kind of motivated me to come along and collect some of these tree shelters. Uh, so I've already made a start, you can see I'm quite warm and a bit dishevelled but yeah that's because I've been crawling around under the hedges cutting these terrible bits of plastic off um, the trees that would have just been left to kill the trees and litter up um, the countryside. I haven't been able to get all of them off, um, but I, so I need to come back um, and um, complete the job. Uh, this one actually killed the tree totally. There's a dead rotten tree in there. Um, I found several like that. Uh, so I'm very against um, the use of plastics. And these plastics haven't even done a good job. They've actually damaged the trees. And um, it's one thing for someone planting a tree, putting on the plastic tree shelter. But you've also got to make sure that later on someone's going to come along and take them off before they start damaging the trees and get stuck in the roots and start degrading and um, putting plastic waste everywhere. Anyway, um, all around you there will be trees that need to be released um, from these plastic tree shelters. And yeah, let the landowner know that you'd like to help out with that or ask them if they can kind of help or something. Volunteer, it's worth volunteering. It's a beautiful day. I've heard beautiful birds and I'm doing a great job. <laughs> It's a, it's a great fun thing to do. Look, we cycled here on electric bikes. Got my husband listening to the birds. Okay, a little bit of traffic, but hey, you know, that's the way of the world. Um, but we've made a good start, and certainly along this hedge, there are some very, very happy trees now. And uh, I'll come back and pick these up later and um, carry on the campaign. If we don't do this, these trees are going to be damaged and this plastic is just going to be left to pollute the environment. So we'll collect all these um, tree shelters and dispose of them appropriately. And part of the issue we're having today is getting the final bit of plastic out of the ground. Got it. And they have to be dug out. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's too deep in. Okay. Oh, sorry. But yeah, look at the damage it's done to the bark. Um, there's a whole load of bark missing here. It's gone mouldy. And it's gone mouldy, it's covered in white mould. Hello little Robin. There's a Robin, can you see us? Hello little Robin. And then this. So... Uh, get it out of the ground first. Yeah, it's oh. easier to get it out of the ground while it's relatively whole still. And then you can get a, an air space yeah. and, and slit up sideways. Yeah. So if you pull the shelter towards you so there's room for the knife so you're not scoring up the bark as you touch the shelter. Oh, that was fantastic. Um, yeah, this one's more difficult because it's tight against the trunk so it's going to be difficult to remove it without damaging the trunk but it must be removed. 
No, it won't. No, it won't budge. But hopefully it's split all the way down. Maybe. Oh, yeah. That's a bit better, a bit easier. But this is tricky. Be such a relief to actually <laughs> beautiful. But look, um, the box um, kind of moulded. It's thin. It's been rubbed. Um, hasn't really developed properly. So hopefully, um, now. that's with bark with air <laughs> getting to it. Yeah. And that's bark underwater. Oh. Do get involved with your local tree warden network. Every village um, should have um, a tree warden. Um, if they don't have one and you love trees, volunteer, uh, get involved. It's fantastic to be out among trees, making a huge difference um, to your environment. And um, I'll bring some tips along to you next time. And see you again soon. Thanks for watching.